against the United States. Okay, Mr. President, uh, you were talking about a new relationship based on trust. And President Dilma just mentioned uh, when Brazil canceled this trip because mm -hmm. a matter of, of trust. And Brazil is also in the middle of a very deep political and economical crisis. Uh, can you trust one another in this moment to build this new chapter? Well, my president, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. E, Presidente, um, o Brasil se vê como... Madam President, Brazil views itself as a global player and leader in the world scene, and the U.S. sees Brazil as a regional player. How do you reconcile or strike a balance between those two visions? Well, I'm actually going to answer, in part, the question you just asked uh, the President. Uh, we view Brazil not as a regional power, but as a global power. Uh, if you think about the preeminent economic forum uh, for coordinating between major economies, the G20, Brazil is a major voice in that. Uh, the negotiations that are going to be taking place in Paris around climate change can only succeed with Brazil as a key leader. And the announcements that have been made today about their goals on renewable energy are, is indicative of Brazil's leadership. Uh, you know, Brazil is a major global player. And I told uh, uh, President Dilma uh, last night that you know, the United States, as, as powerful as we are and as interested in, as we are in solving a whole range of international issues, recognizes we can't do it alone uh, on issues like global health. Uh, we're not going to succeed unless we're working with Brazil and other major countries so that we can identify where there might be the outbreak of a disease, how we prevent it from turning into a pandemic. Uh, if we want to be successful on climate change, on countering terrorism, on making sure that uh, we are reducing extreme poverty around the world, all the major countries have to be involved in that process. And Brazil, uh, we consider to be uh, an absolutely uh, indispensable partner uh, in these efforts. Uh, with respect to trust, uh, I will say that uh, you know, President Rousseff and I have uh, had an excellent relationship since she took office. Uh, uh, I trust her completely. She's always uh, been very candid and frank with me about uh, the interests of the Brazilian people and how uh, we can work together. Uh, she's delivered on what uh, she's promised. When we met in Panama, we discussed, for example, the defense cooperation agreements uh, that uh, were just mentioned. She got those through Congress. Uh, as somebody who knows something about Congresses, that, I know that's never easy. Uh, so for her to use political capital in order to get that done, uh, I think is indicative of uh, the kind of uh, reliable partner uh, uh, that uh, that she is, and so we uh, believe that this um, this meeting that we've had this week builds on uh, uh, a series of steps uh, that have continued to deepen cooperation uh, between our two countries. There's still going to be differences occasionally, uh, but that's true uh, with every one of our close friends and allies. Uh, you know, no, no country is going to have identical interests. There will always be some frictions. Uh, but our common values, uh, the strong people-to-people -people relations that we have, uh, the fact that we are uh, the, the largest countries in the hemisphere uh, with similar histories, uh, I think all that uh, means that we should be very strong partners for years to come.